Hi, my name is Lindel. I wish you a warm welcome to this heart opening yoga flow. This sequence focuses generally on the spine and specifically on back bends. Some yoga experience is required since intermediate postures are included in the flow and the instructions are minimal. You may need two blocks and a blanket. It's important to observe the physical sensations in the poses and to avoid strain. When ready, come and settle down on your mat. Let's start in child's pose. From kneeling, lower the hips down to the heels and the forehead down to the mat. Stretch the arms out in front of you. With each exhalation, let go of the tension along the spine. Maybe rock gently from side to side. Now lift the gaze and walk the hands to the side until a stretch is generated along the side of the torso. Hold for 5 cycles of breath. Return to the middle and repeat the side stretch on the second side for 5 slow inhalations and exhalations. Lift the gaze and return to the center. Move into extended puppy by walking the hands forward and lowering the chest towards the mat. The hips are elevated. Rest the forehead or the chin down. Feel the stretch over the armpits and chest, maybe throat. Come out. And walk the hands back until they are under the shoulders for tabletop, knees or hips width apart. Inhale and exhale till the pelvis under round the spine for cat pose. On an inhale, move into cow pose by reaching the tailbone up and arching the spine. Repeat four times on your own pace. Now continue cat cow, but move more spontaneously, adding lateral and circular movement. Come to a neutral spine, tuck the toes under and sit back spine upright in a toe stretch. Feel the stretch over the toes and the soles of the feet. Return to tabletop position, rest the top of the feet down, inhale, reach the right arm to the ceiling, exhale, slide the right arm underneath the left, 
option is to drape the left arm behind the back. Thread the needle generates a shoulder and neck stretch and a spinal twist. Slowly come out, return the right hand to the floor, repeat thread the needle with the left arm, inhale, reach the left arm up, exhale, slide it underneath the right, maybe drape the top arm behind the back, holding on opposite thigh. Release. Move through tabletop to child's pose with the arms actively reaching forward. Lift the gaze. On an inhale, move into a back bend, arms straight, legs comfortably apart. Exhale, return to child's pose. Repeat four more times, fluidly moving forward and back again. Pause in child's pose, arms resting alongside the body. Prepare to move along through tabletop into plank pose. Let's hold for 30 seconds. Legs and torso are in one line. From plank, lower down into yoga push-up by bending the elbows. Hold. And lower down onto the belly. Interlock the fingers behind the back. On an inhale, lift the head and chest up off the floor. Reach the hands back. Exhale, gently lower the chest onto the mat. Repeat snake pose four more times dynamically on the pace of the breath. Let's hold snake pose for 10 seconds. And release down, resting the forehead on the top of the hands. Straighten the right arm to the side, inhale, spin the left side body up, pressing into the left hand and swing the left leg across. Exhale, return on the belly. Now left arm out to the side, swivel the right side body up and swing the right leg across and back. Repeat two more times on each side.
Come onto the forearms in Sphinx Pose. Shoulders are down. Reach the chest forward and up. Maybe tilt the head back. Bend the right leg. Cross the left forearm in front of you and reach back with the right hand. Rotate at the wrist to point the fingers forward and push the foot gently down to stretch the quads and hip flexors. You can lower the torso down or lift the torso higher. Release the right leg and repeat half frog pose on the left side. Let go of the left foot. Plant the hands down under the rib cage and press up into upward facing dog. Move through plank, tucking the toes under to downward facing dog. Paddle the feet out. Now push both heels down towards the ground. Keep the spine long and the hips high. Bend the legs and lower the knees down into tabletop. Swing the right leg up and bend at the knee, arching the spine on an inhale. Fold the knee under, rounding the spine on an exhale. Inhale, shoot the leg back, gaze up. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more. Now keep the leg bent behind you. Pulsate the foot up towards the ceiling. Stay and reach back with the left arm to grab hold of the ankle. Kick the foot into the hand to open the chest and left shoulder. Release the right foot and step it forward under the knee into a low lunge. Now pulsate here sinking the hips down with each exhale. Keep the hands on the front thigh, in the waist or onto two blocks. Prepare to hold low lunge statically. Reach both arms overhead and slowly open the chest while reaching for the wall behind you. Release the back bend. Plant the left hand down. Twist the chest towards the front leg. Bend the back leg and grab hold of the foot, opening the front of the left eye and hip. Release the back foot. Turn the chest to the front and frame the front foot with both hands and the hips back for half splits. Inhale, move forward into low lunge. Exhale, back to half splits. Repeat on your own pace.
let's hold half split statically. Fold from the hips over the leg to stretch the hamstring and calf muscles. Release and pivot the knee towards the side of the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up, exhale and bend to the right for gate pose. Keep the chest facing forward. Keep the torso to the side, but fold the torso towards the ground. Sway the left hand to the other side under the shoulder and open the right side body. Now lift the right leg off the floor for side plank variation. Stay here or grab the foot and kick the foot into the hand for kneeling half bow. Come out and return to tabletop. Let's practice the sequence on the second side. Swing the left leg back on an inhale and bring the knee to the nose on an exhale. Arching and rounding the spine. Dynamic tiger pose. Bend the left knee behind you and pulsate the left foot up towards the ceiling. Stay here or open the heart in tiger pose with controlled breathing. Release tiger and step the left foot forward in low lunge. Gently pulsate the hips down, releasing groin and thigh muscles. Hands on the thigh, waist or onto two blocks on either side of the body. Let's hold low lunge statically, maybe adapt the stance so you feel stable and you're able to sink the hips down. Reach the arms overhead and maybe bend deeper back. Plant the right hand down and spin the chest open to the left side. Bend the back leg to add a quad stretch. Move the front foot or knee to avoid any strain. Let go of the back leg and move back and forth from half splits. On an exhale, into low lunge, on an inhale.
Hold half split, gently breathing into the stretch along the back of the left leg and lower back. Lift the torso up and pivot the back knee clockwise to the side of the mat. Inhale and exhale into gate pose. Don't hold the breath. Keep the side bend but add a fold. Sway the right arm to the opposite side and plant the hand down under the shoulder. Stretch the left side body and move into side plank variation. Grab hold of the left foot for half bow variation. Release the left foot and return to tabletop. Rest for a couple of moments in child's pose arms alongside the body. Prepare to move into rabbit pose. Hold on to your heels with both hands, round the spine and bring the forehead nearby the knees. Now lift the hips up towards the ceiling without loosening the grip at the heels. Hold for 5 cycles of breath. Release rabbit lowering down the hips. Let go of the ankles, straighten the arms in front of you and move into plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, push the heels back. Create a strong line from head to heels. Now place the left hand in the center, open the body to the right and stack the right foot over the left. Reach the arm up towards the ceiling. Stay in side plank or step the right foot down behind the left knee to open the heart for a while thing. Reach the hips high and relax the neck. Slowly return to plank pose. Place the right hand in the center. Open the body to the left for side plank. Stay here or move into wild thing, stepping the left foot down behind the right knee. Lift the hips and reach the left arm towards the far wall. Feel the heart opening. Step back through side plank to plank. Slowly bend through the arms, keeping the legs and torso in one line. Hold. And lower completely down onto the mat. Rest the forehead on the top of the hands. Now straighten the arms in front of you and prepare to repeat locust pose dynamically. Arms can be alongside the body. On an inhalation, lift the head, chest, arms and legs off the floor. On an exhalation, gently release down. Legs can be together or hips width apart. Repeat on your own pace.
Now inhale, lift and hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lift the head and chest, bend both legs and reach back to grab hold of the tops of the feet or ankles with both hands. Press the feet into the hands and open the chest and shoulders. Now raise the legs up away from the floor. The legs are active and hips width apart are together. Gaze up. Maybe rocking gently back and forth to massage the abdomen. Slowly release the legs down and let go of the feet. Rest on the belly again. Relax the body completely. Place the hands under the rib cage and send the hips back for child's pose. Stay here or practice a second round of rabbit pose for a deeper back and neck stretch. Lift the head and torso upright. Sit on top or between the feet. Lean back on the elbows for recline hero pose. Feel the stretch along the front layer of the body. Now lower down completely. Knees comfortably apart or together. Stay here or try a variation that stretches the throat and pressurizes the top of the head. Come higher up, leaning on the elbows. Reach the chest up, tilt the head back and lower the crown of the head down towards the mat. Be gentle. Maybe this variation doesn't suit you. To come out of the variation of reclined hero, roll onto the back of the head again. Press the elbows into the ground and engage abdominal muscles to slowly come upright again. Sink the hips down to the left side of the feet, twist the torso open to the left using the arms as levers, knees can part. Option is to place the left foot in the right hip crease and bend the left arm behind the back, grabbing the left foot. Gaze over the left shoulder or over the right shoulder. Release the spinal twist and come and sink the hips down to the right side of the feet. Rotate the torso to the right, maybe opening the knees wider. Right hand or fingertips press into the floor behind you. 
you can try the Half Lotus bounded version if available to you. Gaze over the right or the left shoulder. Come out of Paradvaja's twist. Open the hips wide in wide angle seated position. Bring the hands to the floor in front of you and slowly walk them forward folding the torso from the hips. Pause as necessary to ease into the groin, hamstring and lower back stretch. Maybe reach for the toes to flex the feet. Slowly come out of the forward fold by walking the hands back towards the body. Come and lay down on the back, knees pointing up. Prepare mentally for bridge pose. Place the feet near the buttocks, about hips width apart, hands face down. Press into both feet and lift the hips high, peeling the spine off the mat. Interlace the fingers behind the back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold for 3 to 5 cycles of breath. Come out, release the hands and gently roll the spine down. Rest for a brief moment. Noticing the effect. Repeat a second set of bridge or practice wheel pose. Feet are near the buttocks and about hips width apart. Palms are down beside the ears, fingertips pointing towards the feet. Slowly raise the hips off the floor, peeling the spine off the mat. Maybe pause here, placing the crown of the head down and moving the hands closer in, one hand at a time. Press into the hands to straighten the arms and raise the body up. Relax the neck. Feel the complete opening of the front body. Maybe walk the feet closer in or come onto the tiptoes. To come out, bring the chin to the chest, bend through the arms to roll the spine and hips down to the floor again. Rest and notice the effect of this deep back bend on the body and mind. Place the hands under the buttocks. Lift the feet up to point towards the ceiling. Slowly lower the feet on an exhale to hover above the floor and lift the legs upright on an inhale. Repeat on your own pace.
Keep the legs lifted. Press the palms down. Come into shoulder stand by lifting the legs overhead and straightening them towards the ceiling. Support the lower back with the hands. Alternative is lowering the hips in half shoulder stand so that the spine makes about a 45 degree angle with the floor. Stay steady in supported shoulder stand or lower the feet down overhead for plow pose. Be patient and gentle. If the toes touch the floor, you may choose to interlock the fingers and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe move along into ear pressure pose, dropping the knees to either side of the head. Keep the fingers interlaced or support the lower back. Release the pose you are in. Unlock the fingers and unroll the spine and hips slowly back down to the floor. Observe the physical body and decide if you need a last throat and chest stretch. If positive, prepare for fish pose. Legs outstretched, lean back on the forearms, look at the feet. Now lift the chest, arch the spine and tilt the head back. No need to lower the crown of the head completely down to touch the mat. The head can hover above the floor to open the throat and chest area. To come out, look at the feet first, tucking the chin to chest. Now roll the body down. Bring the arms out to the side shoulder height. Bend both knees towards the chest. Wrap the left leg over the right and lower the knees down to the right side. Maybe turn the head to the left. Remain in the reclined spinal twist for a couple of cycles of breath. Slowly unwind by bringing the knees and the head back to the center and unfolding the legs. Let's repeat the twist on the second side. Wrap the right leg over the left and lower the knees down to touch the ground on the left side. Turn the head to the right and soften the face and body completely. Return head and legs to the center again. Unwrap the legs and relax the legs down on the mat. Open the legs comfortably apart. Rest the arms down away from the body or rest the hands on the belly. Let go of all tension in the muscles. Breathe naturally. Remain here as long as you need.